Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a, a few days ago I made a video in my Tesla and I mentioned that in seven years I'm going to make one million dollars. So the reason I got that number because during my live stream somebody actually calculated that for me um, and in seven years I will make uh, one million dollar based on the information that I've been doing. I never really calculated all the way to seven years out. Um, I only calculated to a, like a year or so uh, because it's just kind of kind of difficult to calculate it that far. And um, But there's people in my discords uh, that actually love crunching numbers and they've been doing this for a while. So based on the information that I provided, they can actually come up with some good numbers. Now, the only thing different was when I calculate, so yes, you can reach uh, seven million, I mean, one million. But the one thing we forgot to add is tax. So if you include tax, that that year is actually expanded to eight. So it's really not really a true statement because if you add tax to it, it take about twenty percent off, fifteen to twenty percent off, um, and then you you so that number essentially is going to affect the 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 year also. But if you don't do the tax part, um, I will reach uh, seven uh, one million in seven years. So. We're going to take a look at the Excel spreadsheet so I can explain to you exactly. And I also got the author of the Excel spreadsheet and so we can talk about this thing. And you can calculate it yourself. All right, let's 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 go with, uh, let me switch to Excel spreadsheet here. And then we will talk about. All right, so this is the Excel spreadsheet. This Excel spreadsheet is created by Frog. Frog, are, are you there? I am. All right. Yeah, so I gave her the information. This is real information real time as of January 2024 so as you all know I started my investment journey in January 2023 so right now it's October 2023 so 10 months later and so in two months I will my uh, my investment portfolio is going to change dramatically because I will start phase two of my investment journey so the phase two of my investment journey the first thing I'm going to do is change my contribution so in the month, in the year of 2023, every month I put in a thousand dollar. Now, so basic investment 101: you want to get rich. The fastest way to change that outcome is to change the contribution. So if you put a hundred dollars, it's going to take you a long time. You put five hundred dollars, it's going to take you a little sooner. But if you pick a thousand dollar, that number is going to crunch within years. But if you put a thousand five hundred, it's going to go really really fast. Okay, so. In 2024, I'm going to change my contribution to 1,500. So that means every month, I'm going to put 1,500 into my investment vehicle. By that time, uh, I will currently I have 2,400 shares of Tesla. We're talking mostly on Tesla as a test bed. I do have other fun. I have clips. I have by that time I will have uh, a dozen. I will have a lot of QQY. And then uh, Jeff Y also, and I also own other funds too, but we're just talking mostly Tesla. Uh, so in Tesla, I own 2,430 share. I'm not planning to buy any more share because I max out. But if I do buy it, this number may go up to 2,450. Uh, 2, That's probably it. it's very minor. I'll probably add 20 more just to even out number, or maybe just make it even 2,500 completely even. So I get 70 more share. Uh, to start 2024 and that's pretty much about it that's the only thing changes um, so currently uh, my and if I have 2430 share that will give me roughly 38,000 based on my average price my average price right now is 1598 uh, and then the return is is the month of August return we don't know what the month of October is is this video gonna be outdated pretty quickly because when October come out we expect this to be higher than uh, I'm sorry, that's it. September month. So, yeah, so the month is um, pay date month cover September month. So, this is the September pay uh, uh, dividends return. It's going to be higher than 58 cents. And she also add tax into this thing. So, uh, oh, you know, I've got to ask you why 0.2 instead of 30% or oh, what, what's, the, what's the number behind that? It can. It can be whatever. I just started with a point two. It was easier for me to, to watch it go through the spreadsheet. But you can you can put that as whatever you want based on whatever. Okay. 
you think your taxable rate is. So you could change that to 0. 0.15 or 0. 0.3, however you prefer. What if I make it 0. 0.0 just to just to remove the tax? To That's... remove it, just empty the cell completely. Don't use a zero. Oh, right, just empty. So clear contents. Yes. Ten or fifteen years. Okay, yeah, this number is look. This this is the number that I I see on my uh, essentially in my child Schwab. This number right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, current state of fund plus is uh, uh, 1500 no tax, and this is based on uh, the dividends, that's right, if it's 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, or 0 0.7. Correct. Okay, so if the dividends is 0 0.4, probably going to take me eight years with no tax. With tax, it's going to take me nine years. If the dividends is 0 0.7, uh, it's going to take me five years. And the tax is uh, with uh, with tax is going to take me six years. So it's different between on the rate. All right. So let's say for example, the average rate, the average dividend rate for Tesla is 0 0.70. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and change that 0 0.70. And there, there's that. That's the average. All right. Uh, in in August it was 0.83. In July it was a dollar. And but in September was 0.58. I think October is going to be higher than that. It's probably going to reach 0 0.80. So that's just that. I think we uh, we we guessing somewhere around 80 cents or higher. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm curious. Can't wait to see that that estimate. Uh, but anyway, this is 0 0.70, and the average for Tesla. Okay, do you do you see any problem with this by any chance? No, this looks about right to me. I would say even the average price is probably about right. Oh, your the, the, current share price share is price, probably yeah. about average. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I I have a hard time bringing it down because there's so much share now. And this is the problem mm -hmm. when I bought at eighteen something. I bought like almost eighteen fifty, I believe it was, when I when I paid a huge chunk of it, and I've been trying to reduce that this whole summer, and uh, and this is the best I got to. It's fifteen ninety eight. Um, and is, is the chart that you're doing just for Tesla or you have all your uh, other stocks in there? This is only for Tesla. It's ah, okay. only for cool. Tesla. All right, so the spreadsheet's going to show me when I'm going to break 1 million. All right, so mm -hmm. let's just review again. So it's 1500 a month I'm going to put in in January. Share, uh, share price is less than $16 and the return is going to be $0.70. Cents. And uh, with that, all right, so the first month of January 2024, uh, I have thirty-eight thousand dollar in there, and my share price is two thousand four hundred thirty. My monthly return by the end of January, so in this case it would have been February return, it would have been one thousand seven hundred dollars. All right, so my total value up to this point it would be forty thousand dollars. If I take all that dividends and put it back in, my total value will increase to forty thousand dollars. That's what this that's what this number show, tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. so that forty thousand plus one thousand five hundred, that will come out to be forty two thousand for February. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. And yep. for forty two thousand, so the February uh, dividends will give me two thousand six hundred thirty. Now my monthly return is one thousand eight hundred and forty one, and by the end of the month, my my total value is forty three thousand dollars. You can see this thing is moving really, really fast, a lot faster than before. So if you keep doing it all the way through by December of 2024, going to 2025, I will have $82,000 in my account, and I will have 5,000 share. That's essentially generate $3,629. So my total value will be $86,000 going into uh, January of 2025. All right, so far it looked pretty good. I mean, this is just only one account too, um, and so that's eighty-six thousand dollars going to January. Okay, so we're gonna move this along here. Uh, when you go look at 2025 and uh, January, I'm, I'm essentially it's the same thing. Here's January starting with eighty-seven thousand because every month I put a thousand five hundred. Now here's something I didn't I forgot to tell you. In, in January of 2025, that monthly, I'm probably going to add it to $2,000. So I'm just incrementing. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, that's why my number get funky after a while. Because essentially what right. happened is I'm removing my, 
I'm removing my uh, my salary. So my salary right now, that's how I'm doing. I take a thou uh, I take a thousand off it, put into my brokerage, and then and in January I'm gonna take a thousand five hundred and put it in my brokerage. So the following year, the next year, I'm gonna take two thousand. So so essentially, I'm not even gonna see it because essentially what happened is when by the time I leave the military, the military. Uh, it's essentially like almost all my money went into the brokerage and uh, and so just slowly transition that way. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. But so as I mean, as we can see, but the proof of concept shows that putting that money in now sets you up for um, sweet returns on following years. Yeah. So. So the so going to my third year, this is 2025. Uh, now I have $170,000 and it's $10,000 share of Tesla. It, this is if I just take nothing but just buy Tesla. Like if I get the dividend, I just buy Tesla. And I get my, my uh, contribution, I put in Tesla. This is great. And then, and then a lot of you may want to ask, it's like, what, what about all the other fund that uh, you, know, you would buy? Yes, because the other funds give me a, a $1,000 of dividends also. I, by this time, I'm just talking about Tesla getting five thousand dollar, but you remember, I'm by this time I'm getting a thousand dollar from Clip. I'm getting a thousand dollar from uh, you know Triple QY and and uh, and Triple uh, Jeppy Y. I just blank out all these funds. It may be rec share by this time. So all these high yield dividend income they're going to generate a left a, a, uh, roughly a thousand dollar to help me out. So th this number is actually a lot because this is only for Tesla. All right. Right. So it, this is a good starting point. This is a good starting point for your proof of concept. Yes. You could take this and make it specific for each month as you get your returns and then maybe take an average over time for share price and return. Yes. Um, and it would make it would become more and more accurate as more information was put on it. But as a starting point, it at least shows the proof of concept. Yes. And so if you keep going to year three, year four, by the time you hit here year four, you're making twenty thousand dollars a month. So mm -hmm. essentially I can replace my this is this is this is the reason this is where I stopped my calculation. Uh now I did it based on eighty three cents, not seventy cents. I essentially when when I calculate how do I get because I make ten thousand dollars a month for my current job, and I said, how am I going to get ten thousand dollars a month? So I predicted somewhere in year three, I'm going to make ten thousand dollars a month, and you 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 play my spot on. Matter of fact, your number is a lot more accurate than I am. You're essentially saying uh, January, uh, wait, somewhere around in July, so halfway point in year three. I will make ten thousand dollar. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So exactly what I wanted. It's perfect because by the end of my uh, year three, th this is most officer, most military officer retired in May, June, July, and August. It's just just the way it is, you know. Um, and so this is this is absolutely perfect. You know, July, my last day in June, I will like punch out. Well, I probably last day would be May or something. You take you know thirty days or something. And then you punch mm -hmm. out, and then you go on and do something else. And in July, you're you're sitting my tie at the beach somewhere, just enjoying life, you know. <laughs> uh, and but but I will have ten thousand dollar income just from Tesla alone, and I would just live off that, you know. I mean, um, now I'm gonna make more because when I leave, I'm gonna get pensions, I'm gonna get uh, VA uh, veteran benefits and stuff like that. So so there's there's, there's money that's add on to this this amount. Now, if I go to work, let's say, for example, I didn't retire and then I went to work and let's say, I don't know, I, 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 I sell hot dogs or something. But whatever amount of money I have, it would be more to that. So it's just it's, just, it's going to be crazy amount now. But but yeah, just at some point, you're going to be wondering who you can give all this extra money away to. <laughs> well, to my ABG. Do, do, do you know what ABG is? Uh, I'm going to guess something best girl. No. Asian baby girl. You never, you never well, seen the video, uh, Asian baby girl. No. Oh you, no, oh. I'm too old for this stuff. Oh, you gotta Google it. I, I, I don't know. How, I, I, the, the basic explanation is an Asian culture. Um, well, 
the reason they call Asian baby girl. Think of the Instagram girl, all those Instagram Asian girl. They, sure. That's pretty much ABG. Um, okay. Yeah, so the Instagram girl, they, they're always in bikini somewhere. But the, the only thing different is ABG actually love Asian guy. They like, if, if they don't love Asian guy, they won't be ABG. They, they don't classify as ABG. So they have to, they have to love Asian guy. Uh, because the, the one of the requirements is you have to be loyal to the cause, you know, the, 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 the Asian culture, I think. And um, so they're not sell out. So, but anyway, um, ABG girls are very expensive. The reason why they're very expensive is because uh, in Asian culture, the oldest son get the business. And then everybody else, all the son will support that. And the daughter usually don't get anything. And uh, so, but she, she has all the money. So she get the money, but no responsibility, and she, all she do is just go out and just enjoy the life. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I was born into the wrong culture. <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> yes, uh, well, I have been working for twenty five years straight. No, more than that now. But oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I, it's okay. I'm over it. I'm already over it. We're good. I'll just make my own money and treat myself well. Yeah, uh, I was gonna make some jokes on that, but uh, but I, I we don't know each other that well, so I don't want to. <laughs> I think once we'll you know me, later. I think once you know me a little longer, you're gonna you're gonna think my joke is gonna be funny. Uh, but all right, so this is year three. I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars a month, and uh, I think ten thousand dollars a month is pretty good income. I really really good income. I know because that's what I make right now, and. With ten thousand dollars a month, I can travel around the world and do kind of stuff. I, I go eat wherever I want to go, and and buy whatever I need to buy. I just it's it's a good life because number one, I don't have a lot of bills either. So that's that's one of the advantage I have. I don't have a lot of bills. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, that that's comfortable money plus play money. Yeah, comfortable money plus play money, and then but here's the crazy part. Okay, you eventually you want to know when I'm going to reach one million according to this stat. So according to this stat, I'm going to reach one million in year six. Uh, uh, you know, because this is not counting the tax. This is if the dividends pay on the average of seventy cents. All right, but if the dividends average is lower, this number going to go push down a little bit. That's that's the only thing different. Of course, you add tax to it. Um, uh, how I compensate for tax right now, because because I'm in the military, the tax is not really that important for me at the moment. You know, uh, but however, when I get out of the military. The tax gonna hit me pretty hard, and it's it's, it's gonna hit me hard. That's why I, I don't really worry too much about tax, as much. Mm -hmm. um, but then then it's gonna hit me real really hard. So I only know this for my real estate. So what I do is I just pay up front. Like I already paid um, essentially almost a thousand dollars a month into the W-2, Just so, so think about that. So I am already putting more than whatever my minimum requirement, I add additional $1,000 uh, into it. So this way, because this is this is to compensate for all income that I have. Now, when I say $10,000 a month, that's literally my salary, you know. So it, obviously, uh, I don't want to reveal you my personal information, how much money I have, but uh, obviously, if I'm talking about owning homes and properties and all that stuff, I'm definitely my total income, my total source of revenue is definitely more than my salary, my, my current job. And uh, so in order to in order to uh, minimize that burden toward the end, I just put a thousand dollars a month into the tax uh, bracket. Um, you know, so this way now because I, I, think the, that, I think that's smart because you don't want to get that surprise bill at the end of the year. Yes. And which happened to me last time. I mean, I had to pay $50,000 tax before, you know, so wow. it's because I didn't do the, the paperwork. You know, I just kind of like I, I I just didn't do anything. So and then at the end, I was like, I, I'm I'm billed with, you know, almost 50000 So now I put a thousand into it in addition on my W-2. But here's something here's something. I, I did this year that I didn't do last year. Last year, I just put that money in the money market. So a lot of people are like, why do I have this money market uh, account? Um, mainly, it's just to put money in the tax and it's just sitting there. Well, because I didn't mm -hmm. do any investment. I didn't do the stock. I didn't do any of that stuff. So now this year, the, that money is sitting in stock. So I'm owning. So if you look at my Charles Schwab, there's actually three accounts. So one of the account. I own Tesla. I don't. The reason why I don't count it, I actually own. I actually have more Tesla. 
I, I actually have more tussling. But the reason sure. why, I'm sorry. I said, yeah, sure. You want to be making the money as long as you can make money. Yes, on it. I wasn't making any money sitting in, in, in my checking account or in my saving account. So mm -hmm. because I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't maximize it to the, uh, to the investment strategy. So now that thousand dollar is going into, uh, I, I just essentially buy Tesla and collect money. So what happened at the end of when during tax season when I have to pay, I'm just going to sell that Tesla stock which is going to be a lot more than it's just sitting at, uh, well, I hope the price is more than $13. It's right now, it's averaging around $14. So it's a, it's a different number, but you don't see me using it because that's essentially, it's only reserved for tax as purpose uh, because it's going right. to be a lot. That's that's the reason why you never hear me talk about anything like that because it's only for that. So when when I do my taxes, I don't even do my taxes. I pay somebody to do the taxes. So once, once a person said, hey, it's going to cost you uh, thirty thousand dollars for your taxes. And what I do is I, I'm gonna. My plan is to sell my Tesla and just write them a check for that, and then kabam, it's done. Because I already set aside on it. That's one way to do it, and I believe this method I will generate income. The other way to do it increase your W two and you pay more from like my salary, my my work. So my work is collecting W two, and you just increase more on your W two. And so instead mm -hmm. of getting ten thousand, I will get like eight thousand dollar, nine thousand dollar. And then the thousand dollars just go right directly to the federal government. All right. The other way to yeah. do this is go to the USA, you know, tax, you know, IRS tax, and then just pay them directly. You know, just just pay them directly to the IRS and contribute that way. Um, so there's there's many ways to pay your taxes, or you can just do it like how I've been doing for a long, long time. It's just wait until the bill at the end of the month. You do your taxes, and your tax person say hey, you you need to pay fifty thousand dollars. You need to pay you know, thirty thousand dollars, whatever the amount is, then you just you just write my check or you just do monthly payments in that way. Uh, I don't okay. like that method at all because every time they say give me a check of fifty thousand, guess what? I don't have. It's it's not there. Yeah, yeah it's not I, there because um, it's sitting. As a, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, because, as a as a, um as a little bit of safer um holding place for those tax funds, yeah. if you have any fear of. You know your stock tanking ahead of your sale date. Yeah. Um, most time the brokerage right now they have the um, mutual fund savings accounts yeah. that you can get close to like a five percent return just to have your cash sitting in there. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I just put in money market, and that's that's that. So I went from I went from just writing a check, and then what? Like like I said, my problem was the money is not there, and now I'm stuck. And then I'm just making this. When you're talking about fifty thousand dollars, you're talking about over a thousand dollars a month into taxes. Um, yeah. And so it's it's crazy how much I pay into taxes. Um, but uh, it's always better if you don't see that on your paycheck. Just, yes. Just give it to them ahead of time. Yes, because then it's less dramatic. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You don't feel quite so robbed if you don't see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but. And, you know, so I'm, I'm trying, this is the first time I'm trying where I automatically, I take a $1,000 and put it in, I, I just buy stock with it, I just buy Tesla with it, and then hoping uh, by March of next year, the Tesla price is around $16, $17, $18. When I sell, I will have a return, but here's the great part, when I sell it, I will have uh, the the Tesla, you know, uh, dividends that, that I will mm -hmm. sell back. So that means... My ten thousand dollar, twelve thousand, whatever the amount it is by that time, um, I will, um, I will have, I I will have a net profit also, and then and then when I write that check, when I sell it, it won't be, I will have something extra, you know. That's what I'm hoping. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think it that should work. Yeah, well, I'm I'm testing it out. I'll let you know in April. <laughs> I'll, let, <laughs> I'll let you know. Well. We'll know if you're crying or if you're laughing. Yeah, yeah. Now the reason why my tax is is fluctuate is all depending on I own rental property, depending if I sell homes or I buy homes or I mm -hmm. I I'm collecting uh, my in, in uh, income from the rental and stuff that it's all to do with the business. Mainly when I buy and sell a home. If I sell a home, obviously I got tons of income and I'm going to exceed over three four hundred thousand dollars of annual income. So and then, mm -hmm. so my tax rate is going to be really, really high because I'm selling a home. But in some year, I can't, you know, I don't sell, sell a home like every year, you know, 
but it's it it just it just hit me whenever I transition, I move homes and stuff like that. So um, mm-hmm. that's 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 the big problem that I run into. Uh, and in the day, uh, it's a good problem to have, believe it or not. Oh yeah, that sounds like you need to you need to have a long talk with a an accountant about creating an LLC to package all of those rental properties under and funnel some of these yeah. uh, profits into to to get some of those tax benefits. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I totally agree. Um, you know, one the best time for me is when I was deployed. Like my tax was like zero. <laughs> but I, <that laughs> but you also lot. couldn't spend any of the money either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but I, I was, I was, and I had a lot of deployment under my belt. So and I just, I just, uh, it, it was, it was just great timing at the time. Now as I got older, my job is more desk job. So now I, I don't do that as much. And so it's going to affect me. Yeah, so this is something to, to think about, to ask questions. You definitely need an expert. This, when I, you know, I don't believe in paying a lot of stuff, but there's a few services you should pay. An accountant, so you can, you know, so somebody can do your taxes and stuff. That The tax people, like I pay the tax people to do this. In my mm-hmm. case, I use like H&R Blocks and stuff like that. So you, you, you at some point, you got, it, it's going to be way too complex. If you try to do this at home by yourself, unless you're, Unless you are very seasonal, very you know, uh, I would not even I would not even attempt. I, that's where the expert. You just I just put give them a box and they kind of figure it out, you know, and then yep. um, and so it, it's best to let the expert do it. So those are two things. And the third one I would recommend if you want to do option trading, if you don't do option trading, just give it to Jay and and the Tesla family. Let them do option trading for you, and you just collect the rich, uh, juicy dividends, you know, from that. I actually do. I do options in um, my Roth. Oh, you do? I do. All right. I do. Any... Much safer, much very not flashy funds um, okay. just because they're only collecting, you know, two, three percent on their own. So yeah. sell them with far out um, call dates and just watch them and sell them back um, or buy them back when they're about half of their value. And it adds another percent or two to what would be otherwise rather uh, not so flashy returns. Wow. wow! But that's the 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 point of the account is not to have flashy returns. Yeah. So journey to one million dollar. I will reach one million dollar essentially the end of January, the end of my fifth year, or the beginning of my six years according to this number. This is without tax. But if you add tax, that number is going to change a lot. But essentially, at the end of the day, it's not the one million dollars. Just think about this: I'm making roughly almost forty thousand dollars a month from dividends. Right. right, that's a lot. That is a lot yeah. of money to do a lot of fun things with. Yes, forty thousand dollars a month of income, just using my method. Um, now, let me tell you: I start off with a, I start off with a thousand dollar income. Just going to recap real quick here, so we can end the video. Um, I started with a thousand dollar income. The purpose of putting that much, and the purpose I went all in. That's why you see these video of me and said I'm all in on Tesla. Uh, I'm, I'm really all in on high yield mac, uh, high yield dividends. Essentially, I put a thousand dollar. I buy almost one percent of these things. My entire portfolio. I have ninety percent. Uh, only recently where I changed that ninety percent to. 80% to 70% now, but for a long, long time, I have 90% of my portfolio in high yield dividends. In this case, was Tesla, and I, I was in perfect timing because Tesla average was very 8, 83 cents. July gave me a dollar, and all the other time gave me 80 something cents or 90 cents. So it gave me good rate, and um, so I able to take that that dividends, uh, and I was able to buy other stuff, other stocks. So like. So I get two thousand dollars worth of of dividends, and that's where that that's where that initial share come from. I would not be able to do this if I didn't if I didn't go all in uh, with mm-hmm. this. And this is one of it, it was a tactical decision that I, I I came in because when you first start the investment journey, you know people say diversify your portfolio, go buy you know a growth stock, uh, go buy SCHD you know, Fidelity Fund, all these, you know, stocks, you know, go buy your favorite stock. That's one of the things they always say, Coca-Cola and apples and all these things. 
Or if they want to go to index, they say go buy Spy, go buy Vu, go buy QQQ, all those things. They cost three, four hundred dollars, you know. But right. I didn't do that. I, I didn't do that. I just said I need to go get income first, so this way I can take the income and generate more dividends. And sure. And I think I think those other those other ways of doing it are fine if you're a person who throws money into their retirement funds, but only looks at the funds maybe once a year when they get their their prospectus in the mail or something. Mm -hmm. But these high these high yield ones, you you need to stay on top of it. You need to be checking in, if not every day, at least every week, and watching those prices and mm -hmm. listening to the news, so that if you need to bail, you can bail. Yeah, and that's but while the money's yeah. there, make the money. Yeah, and and it's not bailing. We're just shifting money around. Yes, and we're not yes, afraid that's to shift. Sure. Yeah. So, like yeah. for example, now we have more option. Back in the day, we don't have a lot of options. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yield max that you know it was Oak, uh, OALK, and Tesla, and then then you have your choice of JEPI, uh, JEPI, and you know XYLD and SPY I and SVOL. You don't have a lot of choices out there, but now you have you have tons of choice now. So, what happened? You you can you like Bitto for example. Bitto gave us five cents and seven cents. Guess what? The month of November, I have that option to move that out and put into a different uh, high yield to generate more income. You know, so that's one of the things. Is but you have to be actively monitoring all the time because you're trying to maximize it. If you want to maximize, you got have to monitor it, and we monitor almost daily. And that's why I join community like this. This our channel, our Discord. That's all we talk about all the time. Yeah, there's some cats and dogs come in here try to change the subject, but you know, we just like, hey, get out of here. We're talking about high yield dividends. Okay, everything else is just noise. All right, high yield dividend. Absolutely. We want to make money. We want to get rich, and this is we're how we're all you get on the rich. ship to get rich. Yeah. Yep, we are all on the ship to get rich. Yes, and uh, so with that, before I close, uh, uh, Frog, what's your, what's your, give me a feedback on my portfolio here, and uh, and you, and plus you're the one who built this Excel spreadsheet, and and. Uh, and feedback uh, since you joined the community, what do you think? Oh, I think this is a fantastic group. I love, I love the interaction all day long. There's somebody, on, there's somebody on at 3 a.m. Eastern time. If I wanted to, if I wanted to, to shoot an idea out there, I would get a response. Um, but as for your portfolio, I wish I was sitting in your spot right now for my cash account, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, maybe I'll be where you are in two years. So then I can look forward to that five years being a millionaire. Nice, nice. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and of course I said this, but you should see Matt. Matt is like in a whole, you know, he it's depend on your timeline. Matt Matt timeline, he's already here. You know, he's already at year four where I'm at year one, but my year one is year, you know, you are negative two year one you're negative two year, you know? So right. so it's depending on when you start. I remember when I first started, I had zero dollar in here. I'm going like, man, how long is this gonna take? Uh, well, it, it's all sub, uh, subjective when, when, when it is that you you start the cycle and where you at, who who you interact with, and uh, yeah. So uh, I am I'm really happy with that. I want to say thank you so much. I hope this answered the questions. You can be a millionaire in seven years. In my in my book here will be six years. Um, base just by just owning Tesla and just reinvesting back in Tesla. All right, uh, with that, please subscribe, please comment, and you can join us in Discord by clicking the link below. Below and just come. Uh, yeah, we welcome you. If you want to talk about high yield dividends, but you want to talk about something else, there's other channels you can go to, other YouTube people that you can go hang out. But we just want to talk high yield dividend and make money, how to get rich in seven years or less. All right, with that, peace out.